स्विच के स्टेटमेंट्स वेल करेंटली वी आर इन सेक्शन फोर एंड वी आर अबाउट टू चेक आउट द लास्ट वीडियो दैट इज थर्ड वीडियो ऑफ दिस सेक्शन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल चेक आउट वॉट आर स्विच के इज कंडीशनल स्टेटमेंट्स सो विद इन यूर एडिटर लेट एस क्लीन अप आवर कोड सो लेट एस नॉ प्रोसीड एंड चेक आउट आवर स्विच के स्टेटमेंट्स सो फॉर दैट लेट एस डिफाइन अ स्ट्रिंग ऑफ ग्रेड इक्वल टू लेट्स कॉल इट ए लाइक दिस and now let us define our switch case statement by using the switch keyword like this and as a parameter here use the grad or the grade like this so misspell and now use the curly bracket and then we can define our case for example suppose if the grade is a then use the colon and simply print out excellent grade of a perfect and then don't forget to use the break statement like this that is once the grade matches with this case a then simply print it out and then break out of this switch case statement that is the control will come here like this out of the loop similarly you can define other case as well such as case for grade b print out something very good and don't forget to use the break statement here as well similarly for the grade of c you can do the same thing print out some message finally use the break keyword now in the end if nothing works out so for that we have something called the default keyword where we can print out our own statement you have failed perfect launch the application and there we go we have got excellent grade of a like this and now what if the user has actually entered instead of a let's say c launch the application and there we go the case c has been executed good enough but work hard now what if the user has entered some invalid grade for example 1 2 3 like this a string value launch the application and here we are getting the output as you have failed which i think is not a appropriate output so instead of you have failed let us use here invalid grade and for the case of failure let us define our own case of case f and then use the break keyword perfect launch the application and there we go invalid grade for some weird grade here right let us revert it back to a and also in the end i would like to make a point here as a parameter in the switch function you can only pass either integer or string you can never pass in the boolean value or the double value they are not allowed as a parameter only either string is allowed or the integer just make note of that and in the end if you notice the whole syntax of the switch case statement can be compared to the if else if ladder statement let me show you how so here in this slide if you notice we have some syntax of switch case statement where variable comes out to be an integer as we are having the case of integer values here now on the left let us check out our if else if ladder statement suppose if the condition 1 is true then simply execute this code similarly if this condition is true then simply execute this code and in case the condition 1 is false then simply check for condition 2 in that case if it is true then simply execute it else check for condition 3 now the same thing applies here in case of switch case statement as well If this don't works out then simply go for this case. If this also doesn't work out then simply go further and if nothing works out then execute the default statement which you can find it here in the end. Now similarly on the left as well we have in the end the else part. If nothing works out then simply execute the else block here. Perfect. So the switch case statement you can compare it with the if else if ladder statements which we saw in the previous videos right remember and also in the end let us summarize that the variable used in the switch case statement here can be only either integer or the string please remember this other data types such as double or boolean are not allowed now with this we have reached the end of this section so in this section we checked out first if and else conditional statements then we explored our conditional expressions and at last we checked out the switch and case statements now in the next section we will check out the loop control statements so see you all in the next section have a nice day thank you